Hello, everybody. My name is Prasad Sagurti. I am uh, responsible for marketing at uh, Synopsys Foundation IP Marketing. With me here is uh, Yankin Tanurhan, who is Senior VP of Engineering for uh, all of our NVM processor and security IP. And uh, thank you, Yankin, for joining us. Uh, we, uh, well, I have a few questions for you. And uh, really, uh, let's start off with uh, which markets for us are the most important for NVM? Why? And where are we focusing our NVM IP development? Thank you for the introduction, uh, Prasad. Uh, yeah, let me um, overflow over you know, all those uh, individual um, segments. We are very, very active. I think you know, the most important one is PIMIC. Uh, but starting with PIM, um, you know, sensors uh, play a very significant role. Um, home IoT, automotive, and, and, and especially for uh, in advanced nodes, uh, we see more and more uh, mobile and consumer um, uh, oriented customers uh, knocking on our door. Uh, PIMIC um, is uh, like a, a pixie dust. Uh, you will see uh, many power management ICs uh, on uh, today's devices, uh, powers everything, as you can imagine. Everything related to mobile needs uh, multiple of those uh, uh, devices, and those devices needs calibration, trimming, uh, et cetera. Why do our customers use our NVM IP, non volatile memory IP? Yeah, the, uh, the usual why synopsis. Um, I guess you know, we can start with availability. Uh, NVM, especially OTP, is available across multiple foundries, multiple nodes high voltage, BCD, general high performance, uh, low power processes all over the place. I mean, a, a, any foundry you can imagine under the sun in one way or another, uh, we are actively engaged. Uh, that's one of the advantages of Synopsys, right? The or breadth and depth of our resources. Um, that helps, and last but not least, our customer support, again, uh, second to none. Uh, we do uh, excellent worldwide support, uh, presence everywhere. And uh, under the uh, circumstances of COVID, uh, we were still uh, able to support all of our customers um, anywhere in the world you can imagine. Yankin, uh, with the global wafer shortage that we're hearing a lot about, what are you seeing our customers struggle with and how can we help them? Um, the capability for uh, our customers to switch between uh, foundries seamlessly is key. Um, and that's one of the advantages, I guess, uh, of my team and Synopsys uh, that we can expand uh, our portfolio to multiple fabs uh, easily. Uh, we can support uh, those foundries worldwide and, and, and do our best uh, to help our uh, customers to handle this uh, challenging days. And uh, what are our plans and uh, challenges for future NVM development going forward? You know, my, uh, how things have changed, Prasad. I mean, we started these products at 250 nanometers, uh, and now uh, we are uh, doing designs at five, six, seven nanometers, and, and the challenges are immense. Uh, and especially uh, with the oxide thickness getting uh, thinner and thinner, um, OTP work uh, needs uh, stringent uh, design and, uh, and quality focus uh, with very, very little margin of error. And, and I think we are doing an excellent job uh, on this one. That doesn't mean though that uh, we can ignore the mature nodes. Uh, mature nodes are still uh, coming on uh, multiple uh, versions of uh, BCT. Uh, and you will see um, uh, our full commitment uh, to offer uh, solutions uh, from uh, smallest nodes uh, to uh, our largest uh, nodes in uh, BCD and high voltage. And, uh, and then we are excited about that. Uh, that's, I think, the fun and the engineering. Sounds really exciting, uh, Yankin. And uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, spending the time uh, today with us.